What's going on, guys? My name is Aaron. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get the best frame rate possible or an FPS guide on the game Player Unknown Battlegrounds. I've made a couple of videos, uh, actually, just one in general, uh, with how to create your own custom re uh, resolution. So, Player Unknown Battlegrounds has been around for a couple of months now, and I think we're almost about to hit a year. I'm not too sure. I'd have to look at that. But, um,. It's been in early access for a while, it's been in alpha, even very expensive rigs cannot run this game over a certain frame rate. So I'm going to show you guys how to get the best frame rate possible with what you have. Now this will be enhanced more towards Nvidia users. Um, I currently do not own an AMD system so I do not know how to optimize it to its best performance. So just follow what I show you in this video and hopefully you'll get maybe 30 or 40 more frames. So first off, um, start off with your task manager. So make sure you have nothing running at all. Your CPU usage should be very low, um, as well as your memory and disk. Um, now, right now, I have a lot of processes running, so I will have a high CPU usage, uh, considering I have OBS running right now to record this, um, and the game running itself. But you should have a low CPU, and for startup, you should have everything that you own you don't need Steam to start up right away, uh, iTunes, Java, Skype, all those. Just have your basic things like uh, maybe if you want your keyboard software to start up or Razer Synapsis, I have that enabled. Um, and I have Steam disabled, voice meter, all that stuff. Just have it all disabled and it'll boot up really, really fast. And that's for startup. And you can see what's running on your computer. So if you have uh, like anything that you're not using, like see Origin, you don't need that. So just end the task. But it, it wasn't really using up too much. So now once you're done with that portion, you're gonna switch over to um, your control panel and make sure uh, you have high performance running, nothing like balance or power saver. Uh, really, it's really useless to have those. Just select high performance. That is in your control panel. Um, and next is you're gonna go to your NVIDIA control panel and currently I play most games at 1440 by 1080 It's just a resolution that I've been playing at for a long time. I play Ross with it and player unknowns So that's my resolution that I play at and first off you're gonna go to adjust image settings and Put it all the way to performance You don't want quality or you could put it in the middle if you want quality and performance But if you want to get the best uh, frame rate possible go over to performance and go over to manage 3D settings and just copy what I have down here. Pause the video. And this is what I have. I mean, for the most part, this should be pretty default. And I think that's it for here. If anything, just change your resolution of your monitor. So if you really want to get a better frame rate, you go to like 1280 by 720 or even lower than that. But after that, it's not really optimized anymore. So. All right, so here are my settings. Uh, right now, I am in windowed version, but I would recommend playing at full screen. And currently, if you want to know what my rig is, uh, look in the, the description below of this video, and I'll have a link to my YouTube video that I made on my custom resolutions, um, as well as uh, there's my computer specs. So I would first off for screen mode, play in full screen, but I have it selected to windowed. It doesn't really matter right now. So as you can see, my resolution is not on here. That's because it is not. Uh, a default so if you want to get the best frame rate possible the lowest you could drop is 720 uh, 12 uh, if you want the greatest resolution possible for the best frame rate uh, go to 1280 by 720 um, next this shouldn't matter too much your FPS camera uh, FOV that that doesn't really matter too much uh, brightness that it doesn't really matter but here's where it starts off so first you're gonna select custom and copy what I have down here. So your screen scale can be 100. Uh, I, if it really comes to terms, you could drop it down to 100. To f I think lowest it goes fit, uh, 70. Sorry, 70. Yeah. Um, but right now I have it at about 100. And I've noticed that if you kind of go higher on that, you get you actually tend to get some higher frame rates. But it depends on what. Uh, and I've t and I I've noticed that if you go a little bit higher on that, uh, sometimes. You can get a better frame rate, but I it's still like in testing. I've, I haven't really experimented with too much. Um, so just copy what I have here. So for anti-aliasing, you use uh, uh, low, post-processing low, shadows very low, textures very low, effects very low, foliage low, and view distance high. Now you can run your view distance at low or very low. 
Um, it just it, it basically all just depends on uh, the starting of the game when you're in the uh, in the plane. You probably won't be able to see the ground or tell where you are besides looking at the map and dropping at that time. And if you have any other like variable zoom scopes like the four times, eight times, fifteen, uh, the game will actually have to render in that distance when you're looking through it. So usually I keep mine around medium or high, but you can play on low. Uh, motion blur. I don't really know too many people who play with motion blur. I personally don't, and I do never play. I just don't play with VSync. I really don't recommend to play with VSync at all. So then once you're done, you just hit apply and make sure uh, I actually switch myself over to full screen. I'll show you what it looks like in game. So let's just go into a quick game here. All right, guys. So uh, as you can see, I'm in a game, and this is just the starting uh, map. So my FPS is pretty good considering I'm recording this video, and I'm recording in 1080p at 60 frames per second. So let's just move around. It'll probably lag or spike at least a little bit. Oh, it's doing all right. Our frame rate's holding up pretty well. And I do have my OVS open over on this uh, left screen. So as you see, my lowest is probably around 60 frames per second. Highest is about 100 and medium is about, or I would say my average is probably like 70 to 80, 90, 90. Let's see if there's any guns. So this is in third person. Ooh, are you? All right, there you go. Now it's starting to dip. Overall, I mean, so far it's running pretty well. All right, so now we are on the plane. As you can see, the FPS starts to get a kick right here. So, like I was saying, if I go over to very low, uh, you can't really tell what the buildings are, but your FPS boosts up probably a good 10, 10 frames uh, but I mean I, don't, I honestly don't really care but if anything just play at medium you can see the buildings pretty well uh, I'm gonna set that over to high back though because that was working pretty well and we're just gonna drop at uh, poach and as you can see I have a pretty high frame rate for recording this video um, there are some dips uh, but you shouldn't experience that too bad unless your rig is really really outdated But I mean that this should really help you in the long run to run this game pretty well um, If anything, I wouldn't go too low because then it's just putting more stress on your graphics card and processor for rendering uh, lower visual qualities which seems stupid, but in reality that's how it works like you're just putting more stress on your uh, computer so once we drop down here, I'll show you guys that how well it's running. So we're getting about an average about 90 frames recording, 80. Pick up a gun. I don't usually record in 1080p, so this is a little... I don't know if it looks laggy on the video, I'm not really too sure to be honest with you. All right, we got AK. It's definitely latency when it comes to playing like this, though. Notice that. Let's get a crossbow. Get a quiver. Whoa. How did I miss that? So bad. Got him. All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you guys uh, fix your FPS problem on PUBG. And hopefully in the future, uh, especially with the test server, we will. Oh, All right. So yeah, guys. Um, 
And hopefully in the future, PUBG will actually release a good update with a good optimization so that anyone can play it. I mean, for the most part, it's hard to get 60 frames on this game. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please comment and subscribe. Bye, guys.